hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. Please excuse this lighting. It's currently later on in the evening and uh, yeah, I feel like everywhere I go, I just look a bit... I don't even know. I don't even know what this lighting is doing for me right now. But anyway, welcome back to another video. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be another food haul. I know you guys love a food haul as much as I do. And this week, I decided to challenge myself to a budget and to go back to one of my holy grail food shops. Is that even the saying? Like one of my favourite food shops, and that is Aldi. I haven't been to Aldi in the longest time ever, way before lockdown. It's been like four and a half months, and I feel like having just been it makes me realize how cheaper it is compared to places like morrison's even asda like i don't know what it is about it i feel like obviously you do get less of a selection compared to like these big huge supermarkets so i feel like that's one reason why you don't spend as much because there's not as much choice i feel like when you definitely shop at a smaller supermarket you don't spend as much um, but secondly aldi is so cheap as well like for vegetables for the meat just everything i do definitely feel like it is a lot cheaper so this week i wanted to set myself a bit of a challenge a bit of a budget because admittedly normally i just go in there and just get whatever and don't really think about what budget i want to do i don't know what it is i just think normally when it comes to food i buy what i like and i get what i want and that's all there is to it really i mean luckily for me i don't have to be on a strict budget with food um but yeah i wanted to do this because i know a lot of people have a tight budget and you know want to budget their food shop and have an allowance and you know not go out and spend so much money every week so i asked you guys what a typical weekly budget would be there's quite a wide range of how much everyone spends on their food so i thought i'd go somewhere in between and challenge myself to 25 pound per week so the grand total of today's food shop was actually 40 pound however within this there are 12 evening meals so i feel like actually this is closer to a two week food shop with like 10 pound leftover so obviously if you consider for two weeks it'd be 50 pound i spent 40 so i've still sort of got like 10 pound to play with for like more veg because i always feel like you know when you do do a weekly food shop there are some evenings where you need to go and get like more veg and stuff because there's only like a certain life that veg and fruit have so yeah i feel like i've done pretty well i didn't even get wine so yeah obviously if you have wine that's going to boost your food shop up i will be getting wine for the weekend but yeah we're not going to count that so anyway i'm going to shut up and stop rambling and just get straight into the video and show you what i picked up from aldi please do leave me any like meal suggestions your favorite things to get from aldi in the description box description bar in the comments bar below because i love seeing what you guys pick up and what you guys make um and like good things to find in aldi um i am on the search for the five brownie bars that you all told me to get that aldi do like a little dupe of but i couldn't find them in my aldi so yeah better look next time but yeah do let me know some food suggestions and let's get straight into the video okay so starting at this end just picked up two milks so to be honest with you i probably should have just picked up a smaller one but i have milk and tea i have quite a lot of cups of tea i'm absolutely fine having normal milk and tea um um, it's just anything more than like that much of milk then I do start getting a bit of like a bloated stomach and I don't feel very well so yeah got that then I also just picked up some oat milk this is a newbie um, I know a lot of you did say that um, Aldi now have oat milk but I've never seen it in there so I've managed to finally get some then we're going to move on to meat first. The first thing I picked up was meatballs. These were £1.55. Like, how cheap is that? This is such an affordable meal to make, beef meatballs. Um, to be fair, I would normally have turkey meatballs, a little bit more healthier. Um, and also, I don't think they're the less fat ones, but I would just drain all the fat off them. So, they won't be too bad. But yeah, I would have this with, like, pasta, a tomato and chilli sauce, a little bit of, like, low-fat cheese on the top, um, and then some peas. Like, I always have to have veg with, you know, every meal. So that's a quick easy meal and also there's enough there for like two i'd probably have six each time to be fair so yeah there's like two portions there next thing i picked up was some melt in the middle codfish cakes i like to try and pick variety of things up because i don't want to have the same meal every night because obviously it gets a little bit boring um so yeah these are rich and creamy melt in the middle codfish cakes just so easy just to whack in the oven i'll just serve it with like a load of veg maybe some wedges just two there so that's two meals They're not the most healthiest but um i just have like everything in moderation like, i just feel like if you serve that with like a big plate of veg it's fine and um, they're 250 no 260 calories sorry per one that's a little high but they are delicious so you've got four meals right there 
Um, then next up we have this Chinese chicken stir fry. This serves two. So again, you could just literally half this, save it in the fridge and then have it the next evening. You probably would have to eat it, you know, like pretty quick. Or you could freeze it maybe. I don't know if they're freezable. Um, but this is the Chinese chicken stir fry. This is so tasty. I've had this before. It's like a soy and ri rice wine drizzle, I believe. So I'd probably serve this with maybe like some basmati rice, which I actually did pick some up. I've never seen these in Audi before. They're new actually. Um, that's quite a big portion though so yeah i don't know what i'd actually do with that that's another easy meal and again this was literally like two pounds something so so affordable then i picked up some salmon fillets because you guys know i absolutely love salmon so how i would have my salmon is teriyaki sauce i have like a cupboard essential of that um from asda and literally i think i've shown you guys before let me show it you actually. Okay, so this is the teriyaki sauce I'm on about. I literally use this on stir fry, salmon, chicken, everything. It's so good. It's a cupboard essential, like I said. And um, it lasts an absolute lifetime, I swear. Like, I've used this on so many dishes. I've lost count of how many times I've used this. You literally only need a little drizzle just to marinate your salmon. I sometimes put it in my noodles as well. Like, for a pound, I think it is, in comparison to a sachet that you buy for 60p that, you know, you use in one go, you don't get through this as quick and also I feel like it's less calories because of that because you don't need that much but it's so tasty as well. So that's that. So again, we've got two more meals there. So that's like eight meals in total. Then this I picked up. This is a newbie thing. Fish fajita. Like I don't know. I just thought this was so interesting. Um, again, it serves two so you can half it. Have one for dinner, one for lunch the next day. Um, really good like on the calories and um, macro side of things. So yeah, just thought I'd try that as some been different because you guys know how much i like the heaters so yeah we're gonna go for a fish for heater so that's 10 meals there and then i just picked up simply two chicken breast fillets i've got loads of like enchilada kits and stuff in my cupboard like quesadilla kits so um i've got loads of like cupboard sort of essentials to put a meal together with these so yeah i think like chicken's just like a standard thing that i buy so that is 12 meals in total like with your meat so I think that's really, really good. Okay, then we move on to snacks because I typically have three meals a day. So I'll have a shake, a wrap normally, and then a dinner. Sometimes I do get peckish in the middle of the day, especially because I'm working out a lot at the moment. So yeah, I like to have like a nice healthy snack in between because if you count the calories of my shake, wrap and like my evening meal there's not really an awful lot there so here's a few snacks that i picked up so first of all i picked up this moroccan style chicken breast chunk just something you can just pick out the fridge and just have like a little bit of it so you could have like half a pack so in half pack there's 112 calories so that's a real low calorie healthy snack also picked up mackerel because mackerel is just so good for you. Like oily fish is so good for like your skin, hair, nails. It's just a really like important part of your diet. And other than salmon, I don't really have too much omega-3. So yeah, just a really good way. I actually really like this. I love mackerel, especially the smoked one with like the pepper bits on. So yeah, you could have like one of these or two of these as like a healthy snack as well. Um, how many calories are there? So half packs, 294. So... I mean, how many did you get in there? Four. So yeah, I'd probably just have like one as a snack. Then you could have like a boiled egg or something with it as well. So that's another idea. Another snack that I picked up was these rice cake bars. I've never actually seen these now. I mean, I know they're not the greatest. <laughs> They've got the red flash in there. The 93 calories, they're a bit high in fat. Sugar's 6.1, not the greatest, but I mean, look, everything in moderation is better than like an actual chocolate bar. So I thought I'd try those. Then also picked up these rice cakes and cottage cheese for a snack. So how I'd have these, because obviously that would be a little bit plain. So I'd have rice cake, cottage cheese, and then sweet chilli sauce on top. And oh my goodness, it is so, so delicious. You could even have smoked salmon as well on top of that. But um, I mean... As I was in the budget, the smoked salmon didn't cut the budget. So, yeah, got that. Also just picked up a hummus as well. Again, another really good snack idea. Just cut up some veg. Um, so I have got peppers and carrots in this shop. So I'll just cut up some of those and just sit and have a little bit of hummus and um, veg sticks with that. Um, then I also just picked up some Greek 0% yogurt. I can't believe how cheap this was. It was literally like one pound something. Um, and I've had this before. It's actually really nice. So I would have this for like a healthy dessert with raspberries probably one meringue nest just like broken up on top with a little bit of like raspberry kool-aid is a little bit high in sugar but um again it's like a healthy ish dessert so i got that and um, then picked up some bananas because i always have these in my shake and i just think like bananas are just again another good cupboard essential 
Um, then we move on to like veg. So for veg, I am a bit fussy with veg to be honest with you. Obviously I always try to have veg within like every single meal, um, but in Aldi, they didn't really have like any um, broccoli. Do you know the tender stem broccoli? That's my favorite broccoli. They didn't have it and I don't like the normal broccoli. I know you might think that's a bit weird, but anyway, so I just got two packs of asparagus because that's all the veg that I was fantasying. So that's that. I then picked up some veg for roasting. So I love roasted veg. So what I have for my roasted veg is courgettes, peppers, and then red onions and oh my goodness a little bit of garlic oil pepper salt oh my goodness put it in the oven for around about 30 40 minutes so so good i have that with like a lot of meals so yeah that's a good veg if you don't really like veg and you want veg to be tasty i really recommend that then like i said i picked up some carrots they're mainly for like snacking but again if i need some veg on my plate in the evenings i will just do either like roasted carrots or just boiled carrots um then picked up a bag of bistro salad this is for my wraps i have for lunch which i'll show you what i have in my wraps in a second um but again this is only around like I don't know 65 pence which is so cheap considering like when you go to asda things like this are like a pound um i then also picked up some jacket potatoes um again just to have in the cupboard in case i fancy something different aside from a wrap um, i've got tuna and stuff in the cupboard as well so you can have like a tuna jacket potato um i've even got cheese and stuff in the fridge still so yeah, I just think these come in handy and also you can cut them up and have wedgies with a meal. Right, just realised I put two more snacks in. This is why I think the food was a little bit more expensive than probably it should have been because I did pick up quite a lot of snacks. Um, but I remember having these ages ago, the chocolate fudge benefit bars. And they're 64 calories, they're like really good on the macros and they're just such a good like snack to have in the cupboard. You know when you've got a little bit of a sweet tooth, you just want something just for on the go. These are really, really good to curve those sugar cravings. So I really recommend these. Uh, and then, I mean, this isn't healthy. This is like the least healthiest thing out. But um, oh my goodness, I saw these and I had to pick them up because I love Kinder Buenos. Like Kinder Buenos are my favorite. And these are like coconut Kinder Buenos. As you can see, had to have one in the car on the way home to report back and tell you guys how they are. And I can confirm these are unreal. Oh my goodness, they're so good. And you get seven. They're not like big bars though. Let me just show you. They're literally like one bar, <laughs> one bar, like four, one, two, three. Oh my God, they're actually just like three. Do you know like three of these? Oh my goodness. But um, anyway, they are delicious. If you want a little treat, you gotta treat yourself now and again, girls, come on. Um, anyway, finishing up with the frozen aisle. I didn't really get a lot of frozen. There was a lot of people standing around there um, and I couldn't really have a good look, you know? But now this is melting, so I need to get it in the cupboard. Um, but. You guys know the drill with this. It's new look packaging, but this is the vegetable and chicken for heat to mix that I always rave about. It is so easy, so quick, just to have in your freezer. Um, if you work from home, or even if you like work in an office, make this the night before, just put it in your packed lunch, then you can just heat it up in the microwave at work or something. But honestly, it is such a quick, tasty and delicious meal. Um, low calories, like good on the macros, and you just get, like I said, like peppers, onions and chicken so good and then i also got some summer fruits um frozen fruit just for my shakes in the morning because i always have a shake in the morning and then the last thing i picked up was this protein ice cream um is it protein ice cream yeah high in protein 320 calories salted caramel ice cream boom I mean, you've got to have some little treats in your shopping. Oh, and then one last thing I forgot to show you. Um, tomato and chilli sauce. Again, I feel like this is so expensive in Asda at the moment. Like the Lloyd Grossman one's £2, whereas this was, again, about 60, 70 pence. So that will go with my meatballs. Oh, and one more thing, guys. I also picked up these. I've not included these within the budget because obviously this isn't food. This is just something that I wanted to pick up from Audi that I saw in the home section. Um, so I picked up two reed diffusers. I'm going to get them out of the packaging because they've got a new look, reed diffusers that I don't have and I've never seen these because I've not been in Aldi in the longest time so I thought I would show you these because they're £2 each and I love Aldi's reed diffusers like I said affordable they look nice so yeah let me get these out and show you okay so this is what they look like like I said these are £2 each uh, I think the silver one looks better than the black one actually because that one's like a little bit bubbly on the sticker um, but yeah this is the silver one it comes with black reeds which I really love and they smell so good as well and then this is a black and 
and gold one. Um, again, they just look really high end and expensive and they smell so good. So yeah, had to pick up a couple of those. But that is it. That is my Audi Future on a budget, healthy version. I mean, some people probably wouldn't say it's healthy, but I think this is quite healthy. Let me know what you think. Um, and also let me know your favorite things to buy favorite meals, favorite snacks from Aldi. But I really hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you wanna see more food shops, then do let me know and I'll do another one very soon. Thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.